They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie, always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror, never how it appear. All right, ain't no secret that I'm a fan of the Dad Lowe board. I've been rocking with them since 2010 when I first got my operating authority. If you want to get 30 days free on the Dad Lowe board, the link is down in the description. You got any problems getting signed up, hit me at my email, axeice815 at gmail.com. Now, with that being said, Although I like the dad low board, it's a couple of improvements I like to see them make. So I wanted to shoot this video just to share with y'all what I think they should do. I don't know who's giving them their layout or whatever, but let's just get let's just get right to it. Nice quick short video. The first page you come to when you when you sign in is the sign in page, of course, but then you come to this dashboard. Now, right here on this dashboard, they got a couple advertisements up here, which I guess they got to get paid, huh? But then underneath the advertisements, they got these articles. And what is it, six of them? I don't ever read these articles. Maybe some people do. Let me know in the comments. I don't read them, so I have no idea if they're useful or not. What I would really like to see on this dashboard page is a like a world weather map. Because I want to know what the weather going to be like where I'm trying to book a load going to. So I think that would be a better use for me. And I think that would be a better use for a lot of people. And I think that they wasting a lot of real estate right here. Like there's, there's a lot, like maybe they could put my favorite broker's newest loads right here. Well, we'll get to the favorite broker thing, but again, they wasting real estate over here. It's, it's a lot that could be done with this page and it's a lot of wasted real estate. I do like the national load counts. I always go and check. 62 in 41 out don't look like i'll be working no time soon i like over here where they got the tools and whatnot all that's cool so again get rid of i know you gotta do your advertisements i'm cool with that get rid of these articles man show me the weather or something like that show me something that's really gonna be useful man you know what i mean but or again my favorite broker's newest lows now let's go to search for lows now I already got this pre-filled out to save time, what I want to search for. So I'm just going to hit the search button. I do like the geography little thing right here. That's cool. I like how they got the favorite searches, the recent searches. I like all that. All oh, that's cool. The problem for me comes when I hit search. Now, when I when I hit search and it brings up the searches, of course, I like the short by the, by the dead head. I don't like this split screen thing right here. I don't like maybe bring this up to the bottom of this. And then this over here, it's a little awkward to me to have to come over here for the load that I'm looking for. I'm used to kind of just looking straight ahead. Like I should be able to click on this and it should expand and show me the load. I shouldn't have to go over here and go through it. Now, another thing that let's go back to this one because it's a better example. Another thing that I don't like is how that allows fields to be empty. I think that the offer field, they should have to put a numeric number in there. They could put all zeros if they want to. I mean, I know that's a possibility or whatever, but I would prefer to see all zeros than a blank. At least I know they had to take the time to, to fill out that field. And over time, they're going to realize that putting in an offer rate cuts down on a lot of phone calls. Now, the average rate, I think that that's for a different subscription level, which I currently don't have. So I understand why that's blank. But the pickup hours, they need to put the pickup hours in there. They need to put the dock hours in there. They need to put the commodity in there. They All these things will help determine whether or not I call on that particular load because we all know that time is money and logistics. I don't want to waste a lot of time calling on loads that I know I wouldn't haul. Like, if they tell me this charcoal, they tell me this cat food, they tell me this fertilizer, I know I'm not hauling it. They tell me what the pickup hours are. I know if I'm going to be empty or not or if I can get there to pick it up during those hours. It's it's a couple things that if they filled it out, it would cut down on the phone calls. I, when you call them, it's like they want to go over everything about, well, first they probably want to ask your MC number. But I'm like, what good is my MC number if I don't even know if I want the load or not? What difference do it make with my MC number is? 
What difference do it make when it pick up, when it deliver? If we ain't got the price right, none of that matters. Like, tell me what your best price is when I call, then we can move on from there. So for me, that's for me. I would like to see in this area right here, I would like to see this moved up and I would like to see something done with this to where it's incorporated over here. But furthermore, I would like to be able to say I was interested in these first five loads. I would like to be able to select these five loads and then have an option up here to either look at these five loads by themselves or open them up in a different window so I can compare them and see which loads I want to call on. They currently don't have that option. What they do have is you can hide similar loads and you can hide the selected load. So if it's a broker you know you don't want to pull for, you can hide all their loads. Another thing I would like to see is an automatic refresh button. Now, I don't know if I want to see that every three minutes, every five minutes. Actually, if they was going to do an automatic refresh button, I wouldn't mind whatever time they want to set it on as long as they had a pause button. That way I could just go pause it if I don't like, say if it's every minute, I don't want it to refresh every minute. I want to take my time and look at this. So I definitely will pause that. But then the automatic refresh, I wouldn't have to keep clicking the refresh button to see the new loads. So those are just some things that I'll change at the dad load board if they would have reached out to me to ask me. So again, here, move this up, put the load information underneath the load. I don't know why I got to come over here and, and, and look. I, I, it's a little awkward to me to do that, but hey, give me an option to compare loads. Yeah. Whoa, that load got canceled. Cool. Give me an option to compare loads. Like if I select them, give me the option to compare them and give me an automatic refresh button. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for that. And again, back on the dashboard page, man, y'all wasting a lot of real estate here. A lot of real estate. So hey, reach out to your boy Ice Water, man. I'm full of ideas, man. Oh, they got a send feedback button. I'm going to send them this video. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is your boy Icewater, man. Remember, you want to get 30 days free on the dad load board. Link going to be down in the description. Hey, look, it don't matter what type of truck you drive, long as it deliver a load. But you ain't going to make no money in trucking if you can't keep that left door closed. Hey, I'll see you next video, YouTube. Y'all be safe. Been through a lot of pain in my life, and I pray the Lord take it all away.